Okay YouTube, we're uh, currently on board the steamship Fresh Spring and we're going to go for a bit of a tour of the engine room. Just before we begin those, perhaps have a quick look in the top of the boiler room and have a look at the uh, blower engine which uh, provides a force draft to the furnaces in the boiler. There's three of them and that's it with the fan on the left and the small engine by Sissons of uh, Gloucester on the right. And we'll come back uh, top of the engine, clearly triple expansion engine, three cylinders, high, low and uh, intermediate pressure. So we're on the top level at the moment of the engine room. And then we'll go down the steps, down to the lower level. You'll be able to see hopefully the main engine sat there. Currently we've got uh, got the lights on which are a 110 volt DC system throughout the ship but uh, currently running on AC just because we've only got the lights on so we've just got a builder's type transformer which runs it a treat. There's the uh, reversing engine, so you could uh, make a fast reverse, either the wheel, you can do it by hand, or um, using the steam controls on this side here, it's this lever, um, you can make a fast reverse if you need to make a, make a manoeuvre or similar. Um, and then you've got your other controls here, throttle and uh, also various simpling valves and so on. And the telegraph from the wheelhouse. And then behind you, you've got at the same position, you've got the three speaking tubes, windlass, wheelhouse and boiler room, that's from left to right. And this gadget here is a whistle so that if uh, the chap at the other end blows down the pipe and it whistles at you rather than, uh, rather than you having to try to hear him initially. Uh, you've also got the boiler um, and cylinder uh, pressure gauges sat there telling you what's happening in all, all of the uh, cylinders so you know, uh, know the pressures and then uh, let's just spin round, sorry I've spun round a fair bit but basically we're just in the same position we've just spun round 180 degrees so we've got the engine behind, the main engine behind us now we've got the main generator engine here again as I say 110 volt DC system all on board and originally would have been powered by this uh, steam power generator, obviously when the ship's in, in steam. Uh, you've then got the switchboard up at the top here. Unfortunately the glass doesn't help the filming but uh, you can see the, the gauges and all knife switches. Um, again DC so they're all spring loaded so that they uh, disengage quickly so that there's the least possible spark. Points don't arc up and on this side got again shore supply and dynamo and so on um, and then we move round all the valves for various water transfer and fire pumps and so on um, all colour coded so blue is fresh water black is bilge water and green is uh, sea water so these ones are mainly coming to the fire and salvage pump which would have been here and again mainly seawater this one and you can see the fire valve the red one on the right there um, at the moment we've just got the cover off that to have a little look inside um, coming around again back of the engine now hopefully you get an idea of where we are main engine in front of us there and we've got the condenser on this side here a little circulating engine just there next to it. And then we've got two main pumps again colour coded on the valves blue, green and black um, and you can see the, the spares for the engine behind as well so you've got the big end shell and so on. Um, you've then got the other slightly larger weir type pump. I mean you get an idea of how tall it is. I'm currently sat on at floor level and it's I'm six foot tall and this is the camera's at about head height for me so it's uh, 
the best part of eight or ten feet tall. And then if we turn, come around a little bit further, you see the condenser again there, on the back of the main engine, and you can see the uh, the air pump and also feed pump that's driven off this sort of donkey shaft on the back of the engine here. Um, and then finally we can come round the front of the engine again. Again, you back towards the generator and we'll just look through. You see there's a porthole leading through to the, the boiler room there, which will be the subject of a future video I'm sure.